Hi, how you doing? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Vince Sirachi, the CEO of Cucho Copper. How you doing today, Vince? I'm doing great, Rich, and uh, happy to be back. Love having you on the show. Excited to learn more about the company. I know our community is always looking for early stage, undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed copper plays. And my first question for you is that Cucho Copper Corp has reached a significant milestone with the release of the feasibility study of its high-grade copper zinc project in northern BC. Can you tell us a little bit about those results? Sure. And, um, you know, I think the highlights and what everybody really cares about um, with your audience uh, at this point would be probably the metrics around the value of the project and how that translates into the value of the company and ultimately the share price. So why don't we focus on a few of those? Sure. Um, you know, as everyone sees um, in, our, in our feasibility study results, um, at base case metal prices, so at three fifty copper and a dollar fifteen zinc, um, we're showing an after-tax MPV of just over four hundred and sixty million dollars and a twenty-five percent IRR. I will add to this that long-term analysts' consensus pricing right now are at four bucks copper. So you'll see also when we put some metrics in there that at four dollars copper and with all other metal prices being a base case, we're showing over a six hundred million dollar MPV on the project and a 30% IRR. And if you think copper is going to five bucks, we've added that in there previously as well, the MPV would be over $900 million. You know, at, at current spot metal prices, uh, we're showing an, uh, an MPV of over $900 million as well, all else being equal. That's a copper at 450 and, and everything else where it is. So what does this mean for the investors and the potential share price? And the most typical way people evaluate or evaluate companies like this is, is based on what's called the price to net asset value ratio or P&AV ratio. And currently an average P&AV ratio in companies like Kucho in this stage, in the business, in the industry, and you can see we have comps in our new presentation on our website, um, is around a 0.5 P&AV. So you simply take the value of the project, the MPV that we just discussed, uh, multiply it by a 0.5, and then work out a market cap share price. In Kucho's case, we have approximately 100 million shares outstanding. So at $1 a share, we have a market cap of $100 million. At a 0.5 P to NAV, based on something between say 460 and $600 million that we just discussed, this would imply a share price ranging somewhere between $2.30 and $3 per share. Now, you know, I want to remind everyone I've simplified this and there are a lot of other variables that can apply, but you know, it's definitely a quick and general rule of thumb and what other companies are achieving in the market today. Um, everyone can go read and see our press release for full for a full complement of metrics around the feasibility study and the project. And just to add to that, you know, we just received uh, our first um, IROC dealer analyst coverage from Red Cloud Securities. Um, they already have, and this is pre-feasibility numbers, uh, put a price target on us at $1.90 a share, and which I think you know should get re-rated after the feasibility study numbers here. But let's see. You know, anyone can go get a uh, subscribe to Red Cloud's website and get a copy of this full report and um, and see how they value us. Vince, how have surging copper prices and growing demand for copper benefited Cucho? That's all in the numbers I expressed above. So, you know, this asset has fantastic leverage to copper prices. You see, we attained an increase of over one hundred and forty million dollars from three fifty to four dollars copper in itself. And copper is currently trading around four fifty. So the higher the copper prices, the more valuable we become very quickly. What are the permitting milestones coming up next for Cucho? We are already moving through this process. As a matter of fact, we, we are already through the first part of this process, um, which we did about 18 months ago before we paused. So, you know, now we're moving full steam ahead again. We recently press released that we're moving ahead with our First Nation partners uh, to negotiate economic participation agreements. Uh, this is a very important step in the permitting process and expresses the desire of all parties um, to move this project forward through the permitting process. Um, I have high expectations. Uh, we have a clear and defined path to get through this process efficiently. And does Cucho have a timeline and plan for identifying and growing this existing resource? Definitely, we've been working on that for uh, for a bit here. We're we're currently planning on a very big exploration program for 2022. 
you know, we've identified multiple areas of potential, including targets directly beside and around the current resources we already have. Um, that gives us the potential to make this bigger and better very quickly. And of course, pure exploration targets elsewhere on the property where we have similar mineralization that hosts the, hosts the existing deposits and have never seen follow-up exploration since 1990. That's all blue sky potential for us. Wow. Does the company expect to extend the life of mine of the mine beyond 11 years through further expansion? There's a great chance for this. Um, remember the feasibility study is based on two out of three of our resource lenses that comprise our deposit to be mined. The third lens called SUMAC is close to 10 million tons grading at almost one and a half percent copper equivalent and isn't in this mine plan or the feasibility study numbers. That is a huge opportunity. It's low hanging fruit. And we intend on working on that in 2022 as well uh, to bring in those resources um, and again into something that could become extended mine life. We love copper at these levels. We feel like it's very valuable, especially for the electrification of vehicles going into 2030 with so many countries have so many mandates on electric vehicles really taking over and copper being a very key element in that. Now your team is filled with industry veterans with plenty of experience raising capital, how has this helped accelerate the company's progress? Instrumentally, <clears throat> we have an excellent technical team, both geologically and on the engineering side that have had a very big influence on the success of this project so far. Um, we also have a fantastic permitting team to guide us through the next leg of our journey. And of course, a great, um, great experience and oversight with our board of directors. What other opportunities do you see available to the company now given this feasibility study is complete? You know, I think there, there are still a number of exciting events to come that can impact the value of this company. Um, you know, this will obviously include our exploration potential to make the project bigger and potentially more valuable and extend mine life that we just discussed. Um, but as important with this feasibility study complete, we have now significantly de-risked this project and I believe it opens the door to things like strategic and corporate opportunities, such as M&A potential. You know, I think this, is, um, this will be a very sought after asset in an environment where it is very difficult to find quality copper projects on a clear path through permitting and to production. We've got investors from all over the world that are gonna see this interview, that are going to be interested potentially in investing. Some probably have already invested in the company and they may have some questions. What is the best way for them to get in contact with you if they'd like to learn more about Cucho Copper? You know, first and foremost, go to our website. Um, we've got a new corporate presentation with all of this information um, about the feasibility study and opportunities with the company. So go take a look at that. Um, and then there's, um, there's ways on that website to, uh, to contact us if anybody has additional questions around anything. Vince, thank you so much for joining us today. I must remind everyone who's watching that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we love copper. We love Cucho Copper here at Rich TV Live. We think it's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. And thank you for joining us today, the CEO of Cucho Copper Corp, Vince Saracci. Thanks, Rich. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Vince, for joining us and have a nice day.